Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. Alongside me is Matt Mayer, Aston Villa correspondent of the Express and Star at the New York Stadium. Matt, we have just witnessed quite a comeback from Aston Villa. They're a goal down, a man down at half time. You'd forgive the players for throwing the towel in, I think. But I'll tell you what, they didn't. Well, I'm not sure you forgive them for throwing the towel in, but you would forgive them for being, you know, a bit sulky and perhaps feeling that the, the world was against them. You know, mm -hmm. pretty, pretty much a disaster of a, of a first half. You know, they miss a penalty. Uh, they go down to 10 men, with Torrin Mings gets sent off. Uh, second in the card for a handball, giving away a penalty. Mm -hmm. Drotherham score. Everything seems to be going against Villa. And then they come out in the second half, and in the first six minutes, just turn, turn it round. Um, you know, and, and not just that, it wasn't just the fact that they, you know, turn, turned it round. It was, the, it was the way they saw the game out, you mm. know, um, in, in, in the end. OK, they, need, they had a bit, you know, rather had chances as, as they're going to have with, with an extra man. But, but in the last 10 minutes, the last 15 minutes, when really you were expecting perhaps Villa to, to sit deep uh, and, and, and for Rotherham to really, you know, throw the kitchen sink at them, mm. Villa controlled the game and, 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 and probably, you know, could, could have won the game by more in the end. It really wasn't. An extraordinary performance, you know. Uh, so you, you won't see a better performance from from, from ten men. Um, I don't know whether it's you know, probably there's probably other examples of, of great victories with, with ten men, but, mm -hmm. but but I certainly can't quite recall seeing one uh, in the years I've been in doing this job at, at any level. It was uh, it really was something something special, and and it's it's kept them rolling. I mean, seven straight wins now. You know that. Bit huge game against Bristol City now on, on Saturday, which, which it always was, but mm -hmm. now it, it, that game is as big as it, it, as it, as it could have been. Um, no Mings, which is yeah. um, you know isn't ideal, but at the minute, you know who can stop Villa? That's the big question there. Certainly is, and you mentioned Mings; they will be without him. Two yellow cards. The first one is something off the ball happens. Um, the first one was needless. Um, the second you know, one though, it, is it? Is it a yellow? The second one? Not for me. I, I mean, you know. I've seen one replay. At the time, I thought he was trying to chest the ball, and I think he's, he's just misjudged it. Mm. And he's, it's hit his arm. It's a penalty. Um, you know, the referee took took his, took his time before giving it. But you just never really see those those given as, as yellow cards. No. Yes, if somebody stuck their arm out, but his arms by his body. He's trying to. You know, he, he's clearly he's clearly just misjudged it. He's clearly thought he could he could chest it away. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and yeah, it, for, it was harsh. Uh, Dean, Dean Smith certainly thought it was harsh. Paul Warren, the Rotherham manager, felt it was harsh. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it was harsh, but but really, the, the first booking was needless. Um, and from that point on, he was walking a yeah. bit of a tightrope. And, and so you you know you you. you Put your hands in the your, your kind of uh, fate in the hands of the referee when you do that. That said, I thought I thought the ref, the officials, particularly in the first half, were made some really strange decisions. Mm. Clark Robertson, you know, pretty, hacks down Jack Grealish for Villa's first penalty. Yeah, isn't carded. Uh, Will Volks then boots the ball 50 yards down the field. Now it was interesting because the fourth official gave or the assistant gave Mings his first first yellow first yeah. yellow. The referee didn't see it. They've told him, and he's booked him after after play stopped. The referee was looking was looking an injured player. Yeah. Uh, when Volks has you know been given or had a foul given against him, and then booted the ball 50 yards, and and, and the assistant and the fourth official said nothing. So the, mm. it was just it was completely inconsistent uh, in terms of their decision making. Um, but, I mean that wasn't you know Villa. We have to say were were, were poor. Uh, they were getting out muscled. Uh, they, were, they did look a bit rattled. Rotherham were physical as we expected, but you know that too many players in the, in the Villa team weren't really didn't mm. seem up for the challenge, which, which they you know, they knew they needed to be. Second half it completely changed. Um, you know from the word go they you know they, they went at Rotherham and, and it was roles reverse really. I don't think Rotherham never quite recovered from you know the the, the two goal blast at the start of the second half. You know. John McGinn was magnificent. Yeah. Jack Grealish has scored a superb goal. You know, if Villa hadn't scored so many good goals this season, then it would be a candidate for goal of the season. Cause it was yeah. Such a great move. Um, but Jonathan Codger, you know, what performance? So, so often criticised. Um, has come off the bench now. You know, twice in the space of five days and had an impact. 
and tonight in the second half he was absolutely superb. Showed Tammy Abraham how to take a penalty too, didn't he? He did, yeah. There was absolutely, you know, Dean Smith said he didn't know what discussions had gone on mm. over that. I mean, Abraham's been very good from the spot, but when you take penalties as he does and you roll them in mm. and, you, you know, you kind of, you do run the risk that, you know, he doesn't hit them too hard, you know, if the keeper guesses right. I thought it was a strange one because with the angle we had, it looks as though the keeper had sold himself and started to go yeah. And Abraham, I was expecting him to just send it straight down the middle, just follow the follow the follow the goalkeeper. He almost seemed to kind of, uh, you know, o overthink it, you know, fall, mm -hmm. fall himself, and, and it was a, you know, that was a big moment. And when obviously with what happens with, with Toro Mings, you know, suddenly Villa was staring down the barrel. But yet again, they found a way to uh, found a way to get the win. Certainly, having that second half performance, Matt, you think that can really inspire a promotion push now, can't you? Because it looks like well, the they're set for the playoffs. Yeah, the promotion push has already been inspired, and and, and in terms of the playoffs, I mean, it's it, look, it's this was just you know probably the, the, the you know the, the best performance yet, and and, and mm -hmm. Saturday was huge, winning you know having not played well at Sheffield Wednesday, but the way they performed there in the second half, you know, belief is through the roof. Huge game uh, against Bristol City still on Saturday, you know, look, they're not there yet. You know, two wins from here mm -hmm. would, would probably be enough. I mean, they're six points clear of Derby. Derby have got a game in hand, but a vastly inferior goal difference. Yeah, you know, it's going to take a lot for Middlesbrough to, to catch Villa now. You know, but they they want fifth. Ideally, they want fifth, or, or perhaps even fourth. I mean, they're only four points behind Albion. Yeah, and, and while I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big ask to overtake Albion, you know, Albion just seems to have hit the buffers. So. Like what I did there with the train going through. Yeah. Uh, always thinking. Uh, but uh, so yeah, I mean, look, huge game on Saturday, but you know, it's not a a must-win for Villa. Mm. It's, a, it's if they were to win the game, they would almost be as good as there. But you know, they've given themselves a huge opportunity now um, to get into the playoffs, and, and it would be a real, it would be a surprise from here if they didn't finish in the top six. Certainly would be. So quite a performance here at the New York Stadium, a second half to remember for Villa fans. For all the match reaction, make sure you stay with us at expressionstar.com.